We are in Devil's uh, Tower KOA. And if you can see right behind me, it's Devil's Tower. And we're going to go and explore. I think we're doing every trail that is at Devil's Tower. We're going to walk around it a few times and just really explore. Apparently, from our campsite, if you have binoculars, you can see people actually climbing that, scaling that, which should be interesting tonight. Another fun thing they do tonight is at 8 o'clock every night, they show uh, Close Encounters movies outdoors. <laughs> We're definitely making it tonight. We slept in so we could make it tonight. And um, today is Tyler's birthday. So Tyler, if you're watching, happy birthday. A little surprise when we ride to the trailhead today. A little surprise. It's closed. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. That's not going to stop us. We're going to go anyway. We're going to go anyway. This is not the first trail that we've had that said closed. You know, Cheryl, you know, if you know, you know. But um, we're going to see what we're going to see. There's probably a lot of downed trees because the campsite we're staying at has so, like, so much a, damage from the hailstorm. How many trees do you think is down uh, at that campsite? Dozens. Apparently, the camper that was staying in our slot, slot got, really got damaged. Yep. I mean, there's still like pieces of it around. It's pretty bad, but I don't think there's too many trees. I think we can make this. Um, it's 7.5 miles. 7.2. 7.2. Yep. I think what I did is, like I said, picked every trail out around this area that connected them all together. So we're going to go and do it's this. Called, it's called both of them. It's called both of them? Both trails. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it does look like a pretty morning though. So here we go. So it looks like this is the first damage on the trail, but they've started working to be able to get the trail through or people to be able to walk through. I mean, wow, there are a lot of trees that are down. We are so thankful that we were not here camping at that time. That's just incredible. They say that Devil's Tower changes in appearance and color depending on the weather and time of day. And it certainly is changing uh, with the sun shining on it and as we are walking around. So that's pretty cool. Hey honey, does this angle make me look fat? Does this angle make me look skinny? People try to climb up this all the time and Chip just found somebody trying to do it. I don't know if I can find him on this thing, but I think there's a couple of people. There, I see one, two, three, four. That's insane. The fastest person that has ever done it did it in 18 minutes. But I think the average time was four to six hours. Wow. Oh. Still on this trail. We're now on the north side. And we do have tree coverage. This is where the visitor center is. And you can see lots of downed trees, you know, everywhere. As afraid of heights, you know, and ledges as I am, this is just not something I would ever want to do. Changing colors and shapes again from whatever angle we look at it. 
back at the campsite. A little bit sore on the beat because we had to go off trail to avoid some of those trees. It was a really lovely hike. Uh, not what I expected. This was Chip putting uh, the Devil's Tower on our itinerary. And I'm so glad that he did. Now, that being said, apparently this storm that hit, it hit last Monday and it hit without a warning. They had five minutes. So nearly every camper here was damaged. Some to the extent that they couldn't even finish their trips. It was so bad. So when I get a weather alert that says that uh, possibility of hail and high winds again tonight, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous. I am on top of that, we are watching it. But I just wanna say, you guys have been getting your own weather alerts because I'm on your alerts too about flash flooding. What? What's up, Somerville? I love you guys, I hope you had a great day. Signing out from Devil's Tower KOA Camp.